Hey there, thanks for tuning in to NewsLink Indian and Chief Weather Forecaster Balance Lavar here. Now, it is the first day of spring, but we're definitely seeing winter like conditions for much of Indiana tonight. We are under a winter weather advisory in effect from 8 o'clock this evening until 2 o'clock Wednesday afternoon, and that includes most of our viewing area apart from Blackford, Jay, in Madison counties off to the northwest of our viewing area. Currently on radar, you can see we're seeing this low pressure system to continue to build across Indiana right now. More currently here within our viewing area, we are seeing radar picking up some isolated patches of snow and even some rainfall within the past four hours. However, currently we are just seeing overcast skies. Radar is picking up this moisture. However, it's not reaching the surface so far. Currently 42 degrees and you can see overcast skies. Northeast winds at 18 miles per hour, making it feel much colder. It feels like temperature of 34 right now. Now for the next eight hours, we're going to see temperatures continually decrease all the way to the freezing point by 1 a.m. That freezing point is where it's going to make for a tricky forecast as we'll see the rain transition into snow through the overnight hours here. You can see by 11 o'clock the nice dividing line here indicated by that pink line. That's going to be that transition from rain to snow, allowing for some freezing rain there. And most of this is going to remain to the east of the I-69 corridor in terms of snow through the overnight hours. And that's going to continue all the way through the overnight hours. You can see heavier snow pockets start to move in all the way through 1 a.m. Wednesday morning. For the overnight hours, we'll see the lows drop to 24 degrees. Winds still pretty strong. And then we can expect anywhere from an inch to three inches in total through the overnight hours continuing on into Wednesday. So here's that snow continuing through the morning hours all the way through 7 a.m. It finally starts to um, let up. Um, in intensity. However, we're going to give the morning commute a red light due to those snowy conditions still being present through the morning commute and some hazardous road conditions. This type of weather is unseen usually during springtime. Temperatures right around the 30 degree mark. Tomorrow we'll see the snow start to finally work its way on in right around lunchtime and that'll allow for some mostly cloudy to clearing conditions through the evening hours. So for tomorrow we'll reach a high of a 43 degrees. Winds still sticking around and then again that snow is going to move out around midday. Now in terms of snowfall totals, what to expect? We can expect around an inch to two for the northern portions of our viewing area, then two to four inches further down south near the I-70 corridor. I'm leaning more on the lighter side. I'm thinking we'll see anywhere between an inch to two inches for most of our viewing area. However, the main threat remains south of I-70 in terms of snowfall totals. For the seven day forecast, we're going to see temperatures hover below average. The average for this time of year is 50 degrees, 43 degrees for Thursday and sunny skies and then another active weather pattern. We could see some rain, or rain and snow return late Friday and carry on into Saturday. Temperatures dropping 10 degrees there, 45 to 36 degrees. Another clear day on Sunday before our next rainmaker works back in Monday and Tuesday of next week. However, temperatures will start to climb back into the 50s by Tuesday with a high of 50 three degrees. Make sure to give us a follow on Twitter at NLI weather.